Hello everyone and thank you for coming back to my channel. That is Del Chanel's 48th World. Happy Saturday, happy Saturday, happy Saturday, okay? We're going to be coming short, quick, fast, and a hurry on another video today. We got it from Celebrity Insider. We got Ricky Mathers out there over there. One of the correspondents that works with Celebrity Insider as a correspondent or just a journalist putting out articles for them. I don't know. So independent uh, contractor, I guess. But she titles... Her article, Real Housewives of Atlanta Producers Reportedly Desperate to Keep NeNe Leaks on Board. Ah, so one day they were trying to send her out the door. The next day she was in decision on whether she wanted to stay with them because she felt they were pushing her out. Then we got another story out there saying desperate um, Bravo franchise trying to keep NeNe from walking out the door. <coughs> I don't know. Sounds kind of fishy to me. Sound like they hyping up the whole thing around Nene Bravo just to push uh, interest on people following the show. Great marketing skills. Great marketing technique. It fully worked. Okay. I'm just saying. However, I'm also saying... Uh, really, what do we have going on between Wendy Williams and Nene Leakes? Was that also a marketing ploy? Because Wendy Williams has a very large, lucrative following, okay, that watches her show. And what better way to keep speculation out there <coughs> or gossip to keep your name relevant as she's using or uh, allowing Wendy Williams to put her business on the show where millions of people globally will watch it and be entertained with NeNe Leakes whether or not she's going to stay on the show or not. Okay, I'm pretty sure everybody has a lifeline in reality TV shows. Okay, you can't go forever with them. Sometimes you have to like agree to disagree. They don't want to pay you no more money because they think you the highest paid anyway or whatnot. They were like, okay, we can't keep giving you this, that, and that. And then you ain't giving us too much or anything. But lately, Nene been cutting up. She been trying to spit on folks. She been trying to, um, you know, plead the fifth on some instances. She's been getting a sympathy vote. So I don't know. Nene may be smarter than what we give her credit for, but I'm just giving that as another perspective to look at. I'm not saying I totally agree. Personally, I believe it's a PR stunt, but that's where I'm going with it right now. Okay, but going back to the article, it says the Real Housewives of Atlanta may be wait watered down to some OG fans, but the franchise's ratings go for the network. This is due to the two head ladies in charge, Nene Leakes and Kenya Moore. Let's put it again, the two leading ladies over there at the Real Housewives of Atlanta Camp Bravo Entertainment franchise. They saying Nene Leakes first and Kenya Moore second. Okay, are the two driving forces that are keeping the show way above water. Okay, get into it, Team Twirl. Get into it, Nene Leakes' fans. Okay, they on equal footing, but of course, Nene's going to elevate herself just a little bit more, and they're going to pay homage to her, many in the Bravo franchise, because she has been with the show since 2008. Okay, but anyway, that was my spiel, not in the article. Going back to the article, it says, other than arguing with each other, the ladies both have their own way of creating interesting storylines that have recently surpassed 2 million views was for the Toronto ex episode. Now, of course, my sidebar, they're giving all that to Nene Leakes as far as creating the drama, trying to fight, the fussing. All the thing, Bravo, and really entertainment, period. They want to see drama. They want to see uh, black women, black men, um, whatever, because it's more so of the minority colored type of a uh, format that have all these reality shows and they're showing black women, black men tearing each other down, especially black women. So anytime they can get black women to get up on a ratchet uh, show and act total out of the character, their demeanor and whatever, don't care if you're a professional out there in the uh, working world, don't care if you got degrees out the Wazooka, they could take a Surgeon General and he can have his own platform and he can go be acting totally ratchet and they'll forget for a minute that he's a Surgeon General. They'll just be looking at how much entertainment, how much kikis, how much laughter that they're getting from this man. Okay, and then you're going to have some of the more compass-based people 
uh, that going to check him for his mor uh, morality and the whole thing about why you acting this way at your age. What are you trying to tell uh, people out there that is more geared to ratchetness that we love or we want to have upstanding uh, careers and present ourselves as upstanding citizens in the community. You know, but it's like, really, it doesn't matter. If you go to school, you get, I don't know how many degrees, you're well known in the community for whatever professional work you do. Entertainment sales, point in case, uh, what's her name, Phaedra Pauls, she can't get enough of the entertainment life. She's a, a lawyer by trade, as well as a mortician, or um well, I think she is a mortician. She went to school for it. So we'll give her that claim to fame. But, I mean, she just constantly wants to stay in social media, either showing her body or just showing other little avenues she's trying to be in the entertainment field. So the entertainment field must be passing uh, professional fields uh, for the dollar sign much more lucrative than being in a professional a uh, good standing career, okay? Because everybody and their mama wants to be up there real hard on the camera, getting that time, being designated, put in that fishbowl. Forget all the things that we thought were holding true. Be a professional. Be an up, good citizen, uh, up and coming good citizen. Have character about yourself. Have morals. You know what I'm saying? Motivate. No. You get on one of these reality shows, shoot, you can make two million or a million out the box in that one year. Then sitting working a nine to five or however flex time you have within your professional career, you make in a year. So I can see it. If you're driven for the dollar, forget professionalism. Go on out there in the entertainment field and let have, okay? If you're driven by the dollar and you want that fame and fortune, okay? But anyway, going back to the article, that was just my sidebar. Uh, producers will likely bring Kenya back for the next season, knowing that she will most like likely accept, especially since she separated from her husband, Mark Daly. However, Nene doesn't need the money as bad as recently voiced that she feels like she is being pushed out by showrunners and co-stars. Wendy Williams' revelation that Leaks told her she was quitting has the head honchos running scared. In addition to losing her huge fan base, they will not get to find out the big secret that the Broadway star has according to the talk show host. Now they are reportedly desperate to keep hold of her on board. And I'm like, no, nah, don't play it up because y'all said it was an audio. And y'all had brought in, um, what's her name, Yovana Monoplasur back trying to hold a torch with Nene. And that failed miserably. And that made Nene look like a fool even worse than what she was looking already for trying to spit on somebody. Okay? Or trying to tell false allegations about Kenya's husband and all this stuff. Which she, she came out and said it wasn't true either. But it is what it is when you put a storyline out there. It depends on who tells the best story. A lie can become the truth easily in our society. Okay? Uh, but that's my sidebar. Going back to the article, it says, um, now they're reportedly desperate to keep her on board. Yes, Andy Cohen's is probably talking to her. He probably told her, I will not shade you for the next five, six, seven years if you stay on board and you release that fictitious story you got going on, whether it's true or not, if you tell it, it came from your mouth, if people gravitated and blow this, um, uh, uh, season up throughout the wazooka and everybody making money. Girl, yes, we can give you a little bit more money on the table. We can do that for you. But you got to keep bringing the drama. So, yeah, they're interested in what Wendy Williams has uh, said that Nene told her in a private conversation. She leaked it on her show, okay? I think it was a forced effort and a last-ditch effort to bring attention back to Nene because people were losing, you know, their patience with her, especially when she's going out there acting like she want to use her bodily fluids and flush them out on somebody else's skin, okay? I'm just saying. But going back to the article, it said an insider told Radio Online, Show his ex do not want Nene to leave. Nene is the driving factor in ratings. Her big blowout in Canada was the first episode to hit over 2 million for the season. Sidebar. Did y'all hear that, ladies and gentlemen? It wasn't Kenya. It was Nene ratings that brought out the 2 million viewers. Okay? Our celebrity insiders are reporting it. I don't know. I don't take it for the gossip. Uh, of the gospel truth. I'm just telling you what is written down. Okay? You digest it however you want to. 
Uh, but it's in black and white. But anyway, going back to the article, it said the network does not want to let her go because it is her drama that everyone tunes in. Uh, this is where it gets tricky. Nene allegedly has a three-year contract, $2.85 million with a non-compete clause. For her to film anything else, she would need Bravo's permission. Okay, that's like a tight, tight clause, right? That's because she can't go and parlay with any other people and get her another show so yeah okay non-compete clause that would mean you can't go on somebody else's platform and and dish dirt no bravo got you sold up with them for at least three years anyway for 2.85 million okay so keep that in mind nene don't break the contract because then you won't be working nowhere all right uh going back to the article says the source went on to say she is the household name and the episodes that she is in are the highest rated bravo will try and do everything they can to keep her from quitting okay and we know that's more money more money more money yes more money more money more money yes and to put her in some more scenes maybe because it seems like if they're desperately wanting her now and she's getting less filming time she might have to switch the contract up and say whether or not i'm in a scene i still get paid like i was there okay now that's a boss move nene that is a boss move to have a full season and you only have to appear maybe four or five times and you still get paid even though you're not in the filming process <laughs> you're not even in the episode girl now that's really a boss move all right but that's my pun intended not in this article and lastly it says do you think that nene will say goodbye to the real housewives for good anytime soon now my pun intended hell no 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 because then all of her shots would dry up people ain't definitely going into anybody's show room and then just purchasing like they ain't got no bills to pay okay nene got three uh swag boutiques out there she spends money like i don't think she thinks it's ever gonna dry up she got greg to look out for and his um uh, insurance expenses and his health expenses she got hers excuse me she got her younger son out there you know still needed to be under her wing until he's 26 years old and then she's helping out her oldest son. She got grandkids or grandchild at the time. It's the only one she's referring to, I'm guessing. But it just is what it is. No, that's Nene's. She ain't ready to retire. So it has to be logically based that she has to keep income coming in. Okay? So she's going to have to continue to do her side job. She's going to have to continue to be on the Real Housewives of Atlanta if she pretty much want to keep what she got. Okay, now anytime she wants to downsize, and that may be another uh, color, a horse of a different color. You get my drill? But if she's still like that limelight, she still want to be like drinking or uh, champagne for water, uh, taking jets, private jets, instead of commercial airplanes. You know, I'm just saying, if she try to float like that, yes, you need residual in income, meaning you need income coming in religiously, okay? Just like you breathe, you got income coming in. You want to stay in the black, not in the red, okay? But that's all I have for this particular video. Y'all get down in the comments if you choose to. Uh, be respectful as always, and definitely tell me what you think. Sound off in them comments, okay? What is going on? Are they just feeding us a lot of crap to keep us watching? Or is, is there some truth in Nene leaving and Bravo is really trying to reach out to her and saying, No, baby, you at home. You ain't going nowhere until we close the curtains down, turn off the lights, and we say Real Housewives of Atlanta is no more. Okay, are they telling her that truth? But I want to hear from you, fam. Come on over here and talk to me today. All right? But other than that, y'all leave comments. Y'all subscribe. Y'all like and share my videos. Share, share, share. Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. That's the main uh, adage on this show at, the show at this time. Okay? Love you all. See y'all next video. Bye-bye.